Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing a Formicid Conjurer of Fedhas for the 0 0.19 release tournament, and I just noticed we're going to party like it's 1998. Very funny. All right. Uh, and it's good that we got that last episode out of the way, because uh, any game where you're never at one health doesn't count as a win. you gotta got to be, got to take risks, or what's the fun, right? No, that is bad, bad advice. Do not ever be at one, one health. Jeez. Uh, yeah, confuse the warg, I guess. Why not? Wouldn't hurt. Oh, we're we're right near what looks like the end vault here. Uh, I don't want anybody stepping on this alarm trap, please. So I'm actually gonna come down here myself. To prevent any monsters from stepping on it, which would make enough noise to alert all the other monsters on the floor. And I'd like to keep the amount of noise to a minimum. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I get that piety up. And is this a is this an actual uh, shop? It is. Um well, we really want agility. I'm just gonna actually buy all this. I'm not gonna like put it on my shopping list. We are we are going through our. Uh, we're actually spending our our uh, consumables here, so it really is important to to stock back up. Uh, it's you know, I I try when I'm in orc. Uh, not to spend anything at a shop until I've seen all the shops because I know that there's more coming up. Whereas normally I'm like, anything that'll help you buy it immediately. Because uh, you might not live till uh, you see it again. Um, in Orc, I usually make an exception to that rule and uh, wait until I've seen all the shops because I know there's a shop coming up real soon. Like there's four. Um, but for consumables, I, I guess I make an exception to the exception. Oof, that's a bad place. Yikes! Oh my goodness, look at this! I've been to this one before, but I never realized how many orcs are in there, because they you sort of see them not all at once when you go in through the front door. Yikes! Alright, well... Anyway, but for consumables... Uh, it's not like I'm gonna find... So, like... I don't buy a sword or whatever because I might find a book I really want or, or some armor I really want and like spending money on the sword would stop me from being able to afford the armor, whatever. Uh, but consumables are sort of fungible and it's like, yes, I definitely want that. And who knows, maybe I'll find something that's worth 2,000 gold that I wish I could buy, but I won't wish it as much as I'll wish I had that potion of heal wounds or whatever, right? Like it can easily save my life. Okay, there we go. That took care of all the bad guys there. Yeah, and we're just gonna like mark this all as no good. And there's gonna be more big vaults on this floor, but that's the main one that we need to leave, definitely need to leave alone for a while. Uh, and I'm I'm feeling okay with uh, the number of mushrooms we have right now. I'd rather build up some piety to start getting access to the higher level skills than continue to spend it on more mushrooms. I think we're we're doing okay just having at this stage. We're not relying so heavily on our mushrooms that I feel like we need more, or that we need to prioritize more. Of course, I would always like to have more, but I'd rather. Um, get access to more things. Now this is interesting stuff. Some good evocables, but I don't really have the XP to spend on evocables, I don't think. Oh my gosh, it's another warlord. Ugh, don't tab towards the warlord, dude. Alright, so we're gonna back up. We're gonna quaff another brilliance, because that worked pretty well. Then we're gonna Takima Zim. And 
uh, yeah, that, that seems to have worked out pretty well. He's wandered away, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, this guy has a glaive and is mited. That's a real problem. And there goes the mushroom. That's a problem. <clears throat> Excuse my sniffles. I'm still a bit sick. I don't like where I'm standing right now. Let's see. Kima's the warrior? Yeah, that helped. Now he's dead. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, we confused the warlord. That's good. Let's try just like, I don't know, conjuring him a bit. Okay, he killed himself. I'll take it. Mission accomplished. Oh, geez, screen went black there. Right, let's make some more mushrooms. Is that two or three orc warlords we've killed? I don't remember. We're up to three pips. What do we get at three pips? We get, uh... Oh, uh, is it called growth? Yeah, we can... We can plant plants by spending fruit, uh, and then later turn them into aquabs by spending still more fruit. Uh, so we don't really have enough fruit to finance stuff like that, but it's a cool ability. Orc Sorcerer. Yeah, again, not too worried about him. We're a bit drained, but not too badly. There's Elf. Okay, so here's another big, big bad place to be. Let's try to get some mushrooms surrounding it and then open the door. The Orc. Warrior suddenly cheers. All right, fair enough. Are you coming, man? Oh, he's got a glaive. All right. Or a, some sort of pole arm. Let's just take it away. There we go. That made things simpler. The Orc High Priest is not my favorite person in the world. But it shouldn't really be a big issue. What's for sale? A ring? Is there any kind of ring that I would want? Potion of Brilliance? You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, there's plenty of rings I would want, so give me one. Now that maybe I shouldn't have actually bought just then, but plus four ring of int. Hmm. It's not that exciting. I'm also not so sure that our, our ring of magical power is that good anymore, now that we have like 30 MP and we're mostly tabbing things. There's not a lot of combats where I get to the end of my MP, and that's the problem. So maybe I should switch that out for like... I don't know. I guess I want the poison resistance... and strength? Maybe? Yeah, seems all right. And let's drop the string of positive energy. Uh, sun demon, where's the summoner? Up there. Okay, I should not be fighting this all in the open. This is real bad, actually. Oh, yeah, that was, that was very poor. <laughs> uh, let's head for those stairs, I think is what I should do, actually. So I, I made a mistake by running in the wrong direction. I was running south instead of west. 
Also, mushrooms are insane. So I was running towards the mushrooms is what I was doing. Like, uh, but it, And then I realized I should have been running away from the fight. Uh, but it turns out that running towards the mushrooms worked out okay. They just murder everything still. Well, they don't like murder everything. Like the warlords kind of put up a fight. Um, and large enough groups of high power orcs could do it, but just that one. Well, see you later, uh, wandering mushroom. Oh, he killed some stuff while we were gone. All right, uh, but just one like orc sorcerer, our pack of mushrooms can take care of. All right, so this this area is open now. So we want to approach it very carefully. Uh, handle as few of them at a time as we can. Well, we can easily fight just one of them at a time by luring them. Let's actually dig out a kill hole now uh, to have it ready for later. So we don't have to dig it out while there are monsters fighting at us. Uh, fighting us, I should say. There's no, no, no reason for an at in there. Yeah, we're sort of blending them right now. It's working pretty well. The troll got confused, I believe, not by. Yeah, we didn't cast confuse on a troll. It was um, it was by mushrooms. Another friggin' warlord, jeepers! Three of them. Yikes. There he is, Enchanted Greatsword. Yeah, let's use Brilliance again. It's been pretty good so far for this kind of uh, Orc Warlord fight. Where's the Warlord? He's in the back there. Dazzling spray then? That worked. What? What? How did I dazzling spray myself? What is this garbage? That's not possible. What is this all about? I gotta, I gotta report a bug or something, man. Figure out what the hell that was about. I'm gonna need to review the footage after that. Uh, after this video is up, you guys, you know, you can just rewind and take a look at it now. See if I like, like aimed it in some weird, dumb direction or something. But I don't think it should be possible to hit myself with dazzling spray without, uh, without at least answering yes to a prompt or something. Huh. Well, okay. Here we are. We're confused. Let's quaff a curing. We don't want to be confused right now, I can tell you that. Takima's worked on the first try. Great. And then back off. And uh, he got confused by all of our mushrooms. There he goes. Got him. So while we're brilliant, let's come on in here and, and mess these guys up. Yeah, tab should be enough at this point to handle the remaining monsters here. And uh, auto explore, could you, could you take us to those shops? Thank you. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, and I want this. Okay, sure. So basically a scroll of enchant armor for 400 bucks, which is not great, but I guess I'll take it. I mean, it's not like, it is great. It's a scroll of enchant armor, and it costs us 400 bucks, which, like, oh, no, that seems kind of high for a scroll of enchant armor, but it's not like we were using those 400 bucks for anything else, right? Oh, there's another cloak we could have bought. I forgot. wonder why I didn't. 
you know what? We can uh, we can remove a glowing greatsword from our list. And uh, I don't have any identify. I'd like to know about that that scorched greatsword. It's almost certainly worse than the one I have, right? Like, yeah, forget it. We're not. It's, it's just so unlikely that it's better. Um, but I do want to go buy those potions of invisibility on my list. Um, on the other hand, auto travel like really stinks with. Um, with these mushrooms that I really want to follow me, you know? We've talked about this before. It's, uh, it's hard to get them to follow me and like, imagine if I want to go like real far. Were there five of these guys earlier? I don't know. And the place I want to go is on dungeon, what, seven or something? Hello? Clicking, yeah, dungeon seven, all right. Wait here. I'll come back and get you later. Actually, no. What I want you to do is run that way. I'm just going to park them on dungeon 10. And then I'll come back and get them when I'm done shopping. Oh, two of them followed me. The whole point was that you shouldn't follow me. Oh, I picked up some more on Dungeon 8 somehow? They were just left? All right, I guess that's fine. Yeah, give me the invisibility. I'm like, do I really want Ambrosia? Not really. OK, so let's go back down now. Sure, take the hatch, whatever. Okay, everyone, can you follow me? Where'd all you guys get to? Let's just auto explore and pick them back up. All right, we got six of them. I think that's all. I forgot what this trove wants. Slimy rune, that's right. Okay, well, that was Orc 2. Kind of short to be a whole episode. So maybe we'll do like Dungeon 13 or something like that. That sounds about right. No, no, don't go to orc. I don't need to be an orc. Um, let's go down here. Oh, and we're up to four pips, right? What do we get for four pips? We get uh, explosive spores. Those are fun. Maybe we should spend some more on invo? No, I think we're doing okay working on the long blades. Our conjuration and hexes, like, I mean... That's a lot of experience that we spent early and have not really continued to invest in. In some ways it's wasted, but we're still getting value, like especially out of the hexes. Conjurations, meh, you know, we're dazzling things on occasion. We're using Mystic Blast on occasion. It's fine. Um, but we're mostly going to tab stuff. Uh, uh, if we can, anyway. Yeah, uh, dig a little hole so they can all get there. Excellent pharmacy reasons. Uh, here we go. Yaks. Yaks are no problem. Uh, come on, guys. You can do it. Yay, we did it. Okay. Yeah, so this... Really? Come on, dragons are still yellow? That's a bit of a surprise to me. And crocodiles are yellow. Seems like we have uh, we have transcended uh, beyond the. Whoa, hey, it's Nessos. Um, please become confused. It worked. And then the hill giant get to key mud, please. I've miscast it twice in a row, which is not very promising. Three times in a row. What is going on? It's a four percent. It's impossible. Impossible. You guys remember me talking about how like unlikely events are supposed to happen to you pretty often just because there's a lot of events, period, that happen. 
Uh, so of course I'm not serious when I say that it should be impossible to fail that 4% uh, chance three times in a row. All right, Nessos, please knock it off, man. Oh, we're out of MP. All right, well, we'll just tab him then. Uh, did Nessos leave a corpse? I wasn't really watching. I want to eat something. Oh, yeah, cannibalism. That sounds that sounds delightful. Looks like he did leave a corpse as it happens. Look at vaults. Okay, cool. Oh, 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 that's so good. That's so good, guys. I'm really glad we found that. I wish we had a scroll of identify so I could identify it right now. Uh, so let's uh, earmark the next scroll of identify we found find for that purpose alone. These stupid centaurs are going to kill all my mushrooms if I don't come out here and fight them in the open. All right, well, we managed. Ooh, definitely takes mm, tequilas? Probably not, right? Oh, uh, yeah, no, probably not. Okay. Not going to be hexing these guys, I guess. Uh, fine. Let's back off. Oh, I just realized something that I was feeling so dumb about. Like, ages ago, and I didn't mention it at all, we were fighting wraiths a while ago, like when Josephine showed up. And it was saying, like, the wraith drains your vigor. And I was like, doesn't that mean we should be slowed? Why am I not slow? I guess I just misremember how wraiths work. And I didn't say anything about it. And I finally just realized, because we ran into this freezing wraith, and I was like, I know these guys have slow. It's because formicids can't be slowed. It seems to me like you, they shouldn't print that message that it drains your vigor if you, in fact, cannot be slowed. But at least that explains what the heck was going on. Okay. Uh, the skeletal warrior is a bit of a toughie, but it looks like we got him. Ring of Protection, that could be better than my Ring of Strength, perhaps. Uh, eh, I think I'll take the Strength, maybe. Because it, it gives me plus one evasion already, which is nice. And it makes my spells easier to cast, and it makes my damage better. I think it's probably, it's a reasonable trade-off, and I could well be making the wrong choice. Uh, but I don't think it's, like, dramatically better to be wearing one over the other. He blew me up. Come and get me, buddy. Yeah, I thought so. Found a cloak, which we don't really care about. A Tengu warrior? Wow. That's a bit spooky. Alright, but we got him without a weapon, so that's a big, big help. Yeah, okay. Don't need any more polymorph, thanks. It wasn't this game where we had the Cyclops, like, on Dungeon 6 or anything, was it? That was a different game, I think. I was so excited! Oh, Book of Minor Magic! I can learn Blink! No, I can't freaking learn Blink. But I can learn Repel Missiles or something. That's something, anyway. We can't, uh, we can't really cast it yet. But with a little bit of investment in, say, Charms, we could get it going a little bit. Alright, well, we, uh, we cleared Dungeon 13 as well as Orc 2. And uh, I think that's fine. That's, uh, it's been a reasonable length of episode, so I think we're going to cut this one off here and uh, continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.